Hello again. Thank you for coming to these videos from Apple Pie English School. This is, of course, our Slice of Pie page. Today, of course, is our study tips. Number 15 today, I'm teaching uh, taking a nap. Why uh, it's called a NASA nap or taking a nap at work or school, why it's important. Uh, before I continue, of course, please don't forget to give us a like below. Uh, it helps us know that uh, you are enjoying these videos with us. So, of course, today on our topics of uh, study tips we do every uh, Monday usually so today let's see we're going to talk about NASA naps so it's recommended that you take at least 20 minute nap a 10 to 20 minute nap every day at work or at school and the reason is simple they're called NASA naps it came out a few years ago so let me see if I can open up here uh, here we go that's uh, uh, by the way that's why my <laughs> scenery today is the space because of these uh, these things are called NASA naps. But NASA figured out a few years ago that, of course, uh, 26 minutes. Their NASA napping was 26 minutes can improve job performance by a third. Yeah, they're called in English. We call them cat naps. So if you're practicing your English, cat naps. That's why there's a cat here. Cat nap is a short nap. So anything longer might actually hurt your productivity. But as it says here, so I'm trying to get down to the research that they found out. They researched with their pilots. Ah, here we go. The space agency found that pilots who slept in the cockpit for 26 minutes showed an alertness improvement of up to 54%. And, of course, job performance improvements by 34%. So compared to pilots who didn't nap. Of course, 54% better at being alert, 34% better at job performance. So they had them nap every day. And why, I'll let you read this later, I'll put this in the show notes for today. But why are these naps important? It relates to, uh, this is an article too from Inc. I thought it'd be neat to match. Yeah, these are both from Inc. Magazine. But uh, there's research that came out several years ago that the maximum time, especially from junior high, high school and adults can uh, pay attention or be alert is four hours a day, maybe five hours, but five hours is pushing it. That's why some countries around the world, their elementary school is only four hours long. Uh, so an eight hour day, yeah, it doesn't make sense as it says here. Yes. How many hours a day is important? Four hours. It says here, yeah, the science behind it. Sorry, Mac. Yeah. Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, it says like a lot of famous people, for example, Charles Darwin, Thomas Jefferson, uh, John LeCar, uh, John LeCar, sorry. A lot of people have been doing this for a long time. Yeah, so uh, four hours a day. That's what places like uh, Spain. When I lived in Spain, uh, so in Spain, they had siestas. So they'll go to school in the morning or work uh, 8 a.m. to maybe 1 o'clock, and then they'll go home, and they'll eat a big lunch and also have a nap until maybe 3 o'clock, and then 3, or 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, they'll go back to school or back to work to finish off the day. They broke up the day, four or five hours here, four or five hours there with a, a big lunch and a nap in between to help their productivity. So when I lived in Spain for five months, at first I thought, whoa, this is uh, uh, difficult to get used to. But once I got used to it, it really, I noticed it improved my study habits a lot. So of course it's very useful. So this uh, NASA napping or this work nap. So, for example, it's so popular in America, some schools are even doing it. In Japan, uh, sorry, me, uh, okay, sorry, I'll show this first. So, in Japan, they even have napping pods. So, for example, here, sleeping with the fishes, they have these napping things at uh, companies like Google. This again, maybe, yeah, you can nap at these 10 companies. So, some famous companies here, you have Google, of course, has these napping pods. And uh, who has Price Waterhouse? Uh, Cooper's, of course, famous accounting company. Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream has these. Uh, they offer napping rooms or napping times for their employees. Cisco and, of course, Potato. I think it's a famous in London. Yeah, a London app creator and Zappos, uh, Nike, of course, Uber, and uh, White Case Thrive Global. Yes, many of them. Thrive, by the way, is connected to Huffington Post. The, it was the Huffington Post founder created this company in New York. But anyway, there's many, many companies, like up to one third of companies in America. I saw a statistic one time that offer some form of napping. So for example, in Japan recently, they came out with, uh, looks like an old old style telephone booth you might see, you might used to see on the street where you can use the payphone 
So like that kind of booth they have in the workplace where you can sit down and take a nap while you're at work. So of course to energize you because eight hours, it's uh, if more than four or five hours, it, it's diminishing returns. So your productivity or your efficiency or your alertness about four hours, maybe five hours, and then six, seven, eight, like you're losing it. That's why over time you're really losing it. So if you take a nap around four hours in, boom, you refresh. So even just the NASA study, 26 minutes, but even a 10 minute nap between 10 and 20 minutes, I think is what NASA recommends. But anyway, yes, this will also help not only your workplace, also your school, but also your study habits. So when you're studying too, if you study more than four hours, you're losing it. That's why a lot of famous writers will write for between two and four hours a day. And after that, they'll take a nap, they'll refresh, and in the afternoon, maybe they'll do something else. So by the way, I should say this is if you're using your brain, anything using your brain, using your body for things like working on a factory line, maybe you don't need this napping system. But if you're using your brain to think, create your creativity will drain your system. So, of course, you need these naps. Thanks again for watching these videos. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. And here's some other study tips for you. And here's some other popular videos on our channel. Thanks again. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.